Hello creatives, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela, a graphic designer and an illustrator. Today we are going to be discovering some new brushes that were brought out for Photoshop on the iPad. I have Photoshop open right here. If you all are not familiar with Photoshop brushes, there are tons. I have reviewed a whole bunch of Photoshop brushes before. I have a few videos on it. This is the new set of brushes for the summer. These are by Kyle Webster. Kyle Webster works with Adobe and he creates a whole bunch of Photoshop brushes. He works within Photoshop and creates a lot of unique work. So let's dive in. I have a artboard opened up here in Photoshop. This is an 11 by 17 inch artboard. If you want to know what that is in pixels, it's 3300 by 5100 at 300 DPI. Or for some reason in the iPad, it's uh, PPI, pixels per inch. Although I think DPI is decimals per inch, something like that. In the left toolbar over here on the iPad, we have a whole bunch of tools. The brush tool is the fourth one down. If you tap on it, it shows you options for the brush that you have selected already, which is probably the default one. If you tap it again, while it's highlighted in blue, it'll give you a whole list of different brushes. I have a whole bunch already downloaded from previous series of brushes that have been released, including the fall 2021 brushes from Kyle Webster. We're gonna explore the summer ones. In order to import or download new brushes, you press this plus sign down here. I have already done that, and it will take you to this page. I have signed in. You will need an Adobe account to sign in and get these brushes. They have the new summer brushes right here for 2022. According to them, it offers a little bit of everything. So you have airbrushes, ink brushes, watercolor brushes. There's a whole bunch in here. There's even gridded brushes. So I'm not entirely sure what that's, what that means. So we're going to explore and find out. Let's go ahead and click download. Tap open in Photoshop. It will load all my brushes for me. Brushes are loaded. That's great. If you tap on the brush icon again, scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is the summer 2022 brushes right there. There are 39 of them this time. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess that's much better than the, what was it, 64 or something that I downloaded previously. Tap on the summer 2022 brushes and we have, wow, we have Rich Oils Leaf Daughters. Leaf Daughter. Hmm, we're gonna explore some of these. There's also Chipped Paint, Mystique, Aztec, Aztec Pattern Streaks, Gritty. Okay, I'm gonna choose Gritty Bold and see what this does. I'm gonna choose a neutral color, probably more of a grayish tone. Just to give us an overall basis of what this is gonna look like. What size is my brush? 200, okay. Let's draw, oh! Well, would you look at that? It's literally a grid. Okay, that makes more sense now. Let's bump this all the way up. You can paint a grid. It's literally just painting a grid. That's so funny. And if I wanted the grid to be a different color? I want it overlays beautifully. So if you mess up, it just overlays. Well, that is so cool. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, so gritty is literally just a grid. I thought it was gritty as in like G-R-I-T-T-Y, like grit, but it is just a grid. Let's look at what else is in here. So there is um, soft splatters, there's summer wash, summer wash light, summer wash stain, bloomin'. What is bloomin'? Let's do a new layer here. I think these are meant to be like flower blooms almost. Wow, that brush is 600. All right, let's do 1300 and see what happens. Interesting, okay. So this seems more like if you were doing trees. Marbled, this looks interesting. I'm gonna hide that layer just to see what this marbled effect looks like. I'm gonna go back to that like neutralish orange color we had. Okay, it does kind of give like a more spatter spray type of effect. Let's hide this one so we can see better what we're doing. I'm gonna increase the brush size. Pressure does matter when it comes to doing this. A very abstract piece. This would be pretty fun. Okay, I'm really liking the marble so far. The marble's really nice. Let's see what else we can do with the marble. 
I'm just gonna blow it all the way up and see. It gives you this beautiful textured background. My um, pencil is lagging a little bit. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but this gives it a really beautiful background here. Okay, so that is the marble brush. I'm really enjoying the marble brush. The grid brush is interesting. So if you wanted to have a grid pattern on anything, you could literally use that brush. Let's see about other ones. There's a berry brush, oh, busy brush, okay. Soft canvas variant brush. And there's also, what's digi paint? Oh, that's a beautiful brush. That is so smooth. That is gorgeous, okay. That's a beautifully smooth brush. All right, so uh, DigiPaint 101. Very interesting. Ink Soak Paisley. What is Paisley? Paisley is literally a Paisley pattern. So you can do a Paisley pattern within like a letter, if you will. So if we wanted to see that, let's, let's get our type tool real quick. Let's do an S. But instead of it being Myriad, does anyone know how to change the default font on the iPad? If you do, let me know because I cannot figure out how to do that. Uh, where's my Cooper Black? Cooper Black font, please. There we go. Bring the font size all the way up. We're gonna rasterize this. Or do we even need to? Actually, we probably don't even need to. Let me take this up and then let's go back into our brush tool. We're gonna do a nice, let's do a beautiful teal color in our Paisley. Let's bump up that brushed. Clip mask it. That looks really cool. Our font color, we can change from black to any other color. Let's do a dark teal. We have this beautiful S happening here. We can even use other brushes. Soft air, ooh, that sounds nice. Let's do a lighter version of this color in the background. Gives it a nice soft texture, almost like an airbrush feel. So I'm guessing that was the airbrush, airbrush style brush that they were talking about. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, so you can definitely add lots of different types of effects and textures here. Let's see what other brushes there are. There aren't very many in this release, but I really do love what we've messed with so far. Fossil, especially with the marble. This marbling effect is gorgeous. So I wonder what fossil does. Let's do, let's see what fossil is. I'm gonna take like a nice deep brown here. It's very textured. <laughs> Stonehenge, some of these names, I'm like, how did you come up with these names? Like that's so funny. <laughs> oh, this is a nice brush. It's very reactive and it gives you just this beautiful effect here of it being stone-like. Oh, that's awesome. And the different pressures give you different opacities just naturally. Oh, okay, did not do that on its own layer. So let's do that on its own layer and let's make kind of like a more natural version of a text here. Let's see, for text. That color is a bit too dark for that to appear. So let's make it lighter. Let's go back to our brush tool and choose that Stonehenge. Clip mask it to you. Make it way lighter. I'm just creating something a little bit more natural, something a little bit more soothing. <laughs> Have like this textured effect here for our text. We can even change our brush and do a different one. Like hollowed looks interesting. Let's see what hollowed does. Hallowed actually adds a lot more texture. Let's clip mask that. That looks so cool. Let's go back to naturally. I'm gonna go back to this layer. Let's add some hollowed texture, hollow texture brush on here to make it look a little bit more on the gritty side, if you will. That looks so cool. All right, let's also add a shadow behind. Now, I did mention in a previous Photoshop video that there wasn't any blurs in Photoshop, but I was wrong. And I'll show you where it is because I did not know this. I'm gonna take the new soft air brush, put it behind the word you, just do, this type of effect here. 
And under this uh, filters and adjustments icon over here on the right toolbar, there is auto tone, auto contrast, auto color, invert, and Gaussian blur. So there is Gaussian blur here. That was a mistake I made before. So I'm going to do a Gaussian blur. A little window pops up. You can move this around and I can blur it as much or as little as I want. I'm going to blur it quite a bit. Press done and it applies the blur for you. So I'm going to go into my eraser and my brushes. I'm going to make my brush pretty big. I'm going to slightly erase the depth of that around, around certain portions of the letter. There we go. Let's go back to our brush tool. You can have nice blurs in the background. Let me do the same thing for naturally. So it gives it some more depth. And then we can also go in here and do some highlights on all of these letters. So let's change up our brush and make it something a little bit softer. What does InSoak do? Let's take a nice highlight color, make a new layer, drag and drop it. Let's see what InSoak does. Oh, okay. Let's see how it reacts. It's a very, it looks like a very fuzzy style brush. Let's see real quick. It is a very fuzzy brush. Ooh, you can use that fuzzy brush to make like little fuzzy characters and stuff like that. That's cool. Let's use Summer Wash Light. We can do Summer Wash Light and get all these light reflections here. Let's change our blend mode from normal. I'm going to do an overlay at about 83%. Kind of looks like it gives us the light that we want here for these letters. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to clip mask it once I'm done creating all my strokes here. It is a really beautiful brush. I have a feeling that with this brush, the summer wash light, you can get some beautiful watercolors going on. So if you wanted to do um, like a watercolor portrait, this would be really nice. This also could be used to do some beautiful lighting techniques as well. Like if you were to do a piece that has, whoop, yep, just like that, because this brush is beautiful. Look at that. You can do some really beautiful like strobe lighting and stuff like that. All right, let's clip mask it and get some nice lighting going on in there as well. I also want to do some shading on the U down here. Add a new layer. I'm going to change my color, make it deeper, but not too dark. You can put it on multiply and bring the opacity down to about 60%. So it's not too harsh. And you can see all the textures in this. Like, look how pretty this is. And don't worry with brushes like these, you can also blur them out and they'll look really nice. Clip mask it. Let's do a blur. Make it really soft blur. Look how beautiful that's looking. All right, let's go back up to that other one, or sorry, gown. Let's go down to that other one, blur that out. There we go, make it more natural. <laughs> make it more natural, naturally you, natural. We can also take the naturally one and we can make a shadow as well. I'm gonna be underneath that highlight layer and I'm going to create a shadow layer with a much darker color. You can use the different brushes. You don't have to use the same brushes. I'm just using this brush because it is just so pretty and it works well with all the textures going on in here. This set is definitely more natural. It has lots of different brushes for different textures from stonework, from nature, pretty much anything. It's so beautiful. The Paisley brush is quite different. I do really enjoy that one. I really love more of like the stonework. The soft airbrush is really beautiful. Flatter brushes, the marble brushes, the Stonehenge is really quite fun. It's very, very much from nature, it seems, with this whole lineup of brushes. So that is the summer 2022 brushes for Photoshop. Go ahead and explore them yourself, play around with them, see what you can make with them and all of that. If you wanna see more of my work and what I do with these types of brushes, follow me over on my Instagram. I post on there at least once a week. I try to do more and you can see that all over there. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. See what you can come up with and what you can make with them. And I will see you all in my next video. See you soon, creatives. Why does everybody want to text me when I'm filming? Like...